Like every relationship has its ups and downs. And sometimes it may seem that the universe is conspiring against a couple rather than trying to lend a helping hand. Often this has more to do with the partners being out of sync with each other and a little therapy may be needed to get the machinery meshing properly. Real life couple and comedy duo Vikash and JJ Mathura have been inspired by this idea for a brand new comedy tour and we went off to see what they've been up to on the couch. As a recently married woman, I am still firmly in the honeymoon period. That being said, I know that there are times when my sweet husband could use a teeny tiny break from me. The new comedy, In Therapy, explores these relationship dynamics and with JJ and Vikash Mathura performing, I know it's going to be a hoot. Don't defend your mother. This is not the time or the place. I'm warning you Vikash, you're walking on thin ice, thin 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 ice. Think and then answer. She's my one and only mother, she's not going to judge you. Oh, your one and only mother. How many wives you got? You know, we've been having this conversation for half an hour already, and I still have no idea why you're upset. You know, sometimes it's so easy to understand why wives do something. Sometimes I just feel like, you know, I understand. Before this ends up on the crime channel. Sakya, <laughs> 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 <Take your> hi. <laughs> it is so good to see the two of you. It's good to see you too. We normally don't behave like this. You just. <laughs> Yes, we do. Okay, okay. Tell me honestly, who came up with the concept for the show? Well, it was neither of us, actually. Can Our children did. We were having a session one day at home, talking about things <laughs> related to family, etc. You know where husbands don't listen to the wives? And so two kids who were witnessing this uh, discussion, and they said, why don't you guys do a show? <laughs> My daughter's like, we've got two drama queens in the house. So take it to stage. Let everybody see what's going on. Because what we were talking about is stuff that happens in everybody's home. I need to go and get dressed. I need all the help I can get. So why don't we all just go to the dressing room and we can sit there casually and chat there. Wonderful. Welcome to our suite. Thank you. JJ and Vakash, how much material is drawn from your own marriage and life experiences? None. All. <laughs> None. We are very creative souls. Yeah, we're able to anticipate and imagine what happens in other people's households. What you see in the show, in all honesty, is typical of what most husbands and wives talk about in their homes. JJ, would you say that a shared sense of humour is an essential ingredient for a successful marriage? It has to be, Zakia, because there's sometimes tense situations and if you explode at all time or you shut down constantly, then it's just going to brew and there's going to be issues. Vikash, would you say it's easier or more difficult for a married couple to work together on a production? It's easy for me, it's difficult for JJ because I'm a true professional. JJ brings out a lot of the wife behavioural traits from home into our rehearsals. The bulliness, the directing, the bossiness. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's so much easier to work with her because the creative flair that she has, the experience she brings to the project is incredible. I think what people will see on stage when they watch her perform is a very different persona from what she actually has at home. She's a very nurturing woman. She's an incredible inspiration to my creative talent. And so this is the first project that we're working on and I'm relishing the opportunity. What can audiences expect from In Therapy? So the first thing is they're gonna see JJ for the first time on stage in 30 years, a side of her creativity they've never experienced before. They're gonna to get to see me as raw as possible because I've always hidden behind a mask. And then they're gonna experience humor from the first minute up until the end of the show. JJ, I know that your mother-in-law is a central character in the show. Well, she's given me enough material, 27 years married to him. I credit her for a lot of the material. She's asked for a 30% cut. Okay, then how much am I gonna get paid for trying to correct the mistakes it's taken me 27 years and it's still a work in progress. I mean, look at my children, raised perfect. Shabbat and Simran, epitome of angels. So the question is, Ma, how much are you prepared to pay me? But Ma, all said and done, we love you. Speak for yourself. Is there a healthy demand for live theatre and comedy in particular? Not as much as it used to be and I think that's very sad because a lot of people are involved in the arts through passion. 
but unfortunately it doesn't sustain you, it doesn't put bread and milk on the table. And everybody is battling right now. The economy is not one that allows you to be extravagant. But if you have a few rand and if you just need what I call time pass, you know what I mean, to sit and relax and do something other than sit at home and worry about things and you have the means, then go and support the arts, whether it's performances, whether it's concerts, but support local artists. Because I have an issue and it's my bugbear. If you get the Katy Perry's of the world or the Ed Sheeran's of the world, everybody suddenly has a thousand five hundred and four gold circle or whatever circles that they have. I know because I have young kids. But then ask them to spend 150 rand for a local production and suddenly it's like, ah, oh, you know. So please people, if you don't support your own arts, what are we going to leave behind for the children? JJ Vikash, we love you so much. Break a leg. Mwah. Thank you. is buzzing with excited audience members. The stage is set for a laugh a minute and I'm about to take a front row seat. Sometimes a woman just needs another lady to talk to, isn't it? <laughs> oh, so comfortable. So tell me, JJ, how's your love life? That's personal. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> Besides, you can't talk about something if it doesn't exist, isn't it? Excuse me? Ask me how's my love life. Do I have to? Ask, ask, I know you're dying to ask. How's your love life? <gasps> I'm so glad you asked, JJ. <laughs> my name is Dolia, Dolia Kijavani. I'm too sexy for you, metere hat. Dolia Musi, please. You know that woman of mine, she don't appreciate me. I, you know, after Peru left, I had to go newspaper building to put funeral notice, and then I came with, yeah. Who died? My sex life. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. What time did you leave the office? About 10 minutes ago. According to Google Maps, it should take you eight minutes to get home. Yeah. So who is she? What do you think I'm going to do with a woman in two minutes? Well, it is you. And just in case you don't know, let me tell you, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> what are you laughing for, Vikash? What's so funny? No, no, no. Yeah. It, it's just funny when wives <coughs> think that if they don't talk to their husbands for five minutes, that they're punishing them. Because sometimes that can be the best five minutes of a man's day, I promise you. Come stand here like a man. Where? Where are you going? I'm not stupid. I'm not going anywhere. You are going. And where do you want me to go? Back where you came from. But I can't. My mother sold that house. <laughs> JJ and Vikash are absolutely hysterical. In this case, I would definitely recommend therapy for all the couples out there. You always say that you can't cook chicken curry like my mother. Don't you say that? I wasn't lying. Hey, Pagawan, take me now. <laughs> It's not that I can't cook chicken curry. I don't cook chicken curry because I'm a vegetarian. Lovely show. We enjoyed it. It's actually something that's so enjoyable because it's something that we can relate to, especially as Indians. So true about every relationship in an Indian home. Vikash and JJ are excellent. They're funny. Uh, jovial. It was an uh, out of this world show. It was amazing. It was one of the best shows we've ever watched. It was uh, definitely an evening to remember. Yes, I've learned a lot. Look after your mother-in-law. Treat your husband awesomely. But of course, I am the boss at the end of the day. Oh, yeah.